Stop in and visit them today. Good morning to you. Welcome to our number two of the Art Lewis Show. Nice to have you with us here on WSGW for this Friday, gateway to a weekend. And uh, lots going on this weekend, too. We should tell you that we'll have open phones this hour. 989-752-6111. Talk about uh, EVs a little bit because it looks like General Motors, despite all the setbacks and pullbacks and all of that, appears uh, ready to become a leader in the growing EV market. Uh, they have a number of, of vehicles coming out. Uh, and I was surprised. I looked at the list. I didn't realize they produced this many electric vehicles. Here is a list of General Motors EV offerings on sale right now. The Bright Drop Delivery Vans, Cadillac Celestique, Cadillac Lyric, Chevrolet Equinox, Chevrolet Blazer, Chevrolet Silverado Pickup, GMC Hummer Pickup, and GMC Hummer SUV. Later this year, the Cadillac Escalade IQ, the Cadillac Optique, and the GMC Sierra Electric Pickup. In 2025 to 2027, the Buick Electra E5, Buick Electra E4, Buick three-row SUV, Chevrolet Bolt, a new generation, which will be using the Ultium technology, Chevrolet Tahoe and Suburban, Cadillac Vistique, which will come in early 2025, and I think that's the very expensive one, and the GMC three-row SUV. That's a whole big lineup of electric vehicles in a day and age where we thought we heard they were pulling back. So, uh, you know, there must be a market out there. Somebody must be wanting to buy EVs. Uh, I'm not there yet. That's not to say I wouldn't. I am going out to the uh, SEMA and Apex show in Las Vegas in November, which is the aftermarket automotive uh, show and repair show. I uh, plan to talk to folks out there, do some interviews on electric vehicles, which I will bring back and uh, use on the show from time to time. It should be interesting. All right, let's uh, head to the phones this morning, and Carl is uh, with us this morning. Morning, Carl. Good morning, Art. Um, I don't know if you saw the endorsement by Bruce Springsteen um, for Kamala Harris. Nope, um, didn't and don't care, and I'll tell you why, and I don't care whether he endorses her or Trump. I don't care what okay. musical stars and Hollywood types tell me to do. I could care less about how they feel about a candidate. I only care about what I feel, period. Uh -huh. I don't care well, that he endorses. Good, fine, he's, 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 he's an American. He's got a right to free speech like everybody else. But his, his endorsement is no more important than mine to me to you yes but i i understand you don't think these endorsements are important but i think to a lot of people somebody like bruce springsteen or you know beyonce or somebody like that or oprah i, I think these things do make a difference yeah. and i think i think donald donald trump for an endorsement like this would give his left arm you know he would he would die if he, he could get an endorsement right, listen, like this if you but think he, the election turns on these things okay fine i'm more interested in the economy yeah. and inflation and the border and health care and okay. things that make a difference okay that's what i'm interested you in. had you had mike rogers on yesterday for an interview yep and um, I wasn't able to hear the whole thing, but I assume you talked to him about the deficit and oh, a variety of things. Variety of things, absolutely. Right. And so, I will do the so same what, thing. I will do the same t thing to Miss Slotkin when she's on. I mean, right. that, so what is Mike Rogers? What is Mike Rogers' plan to cut the deficit? Mike Rogers' plan is the same as every other politician's. <laughs> A lot of words and very little action. Yeah, 
That's what I thought. Well, yeah, but that's uh, true of the Democrats, too. <laughs> they haven't done anything to cut yeah. the deficit, have they? They've increased the deficit substantially. Yes, and Trump, when president, substantially increased the deficit, too. <laughs> Didn't he? So what have you proved? <laughs> Okay. Well, our, well you know, no, what, wait, 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 what have you just proved? You just proved you can't trust either side to reduce the deficit. They won't answer a specific question. Well, that too, you know, but they. To but you just proved that both sides are guilty. Yes, but but you support Mike Rogers, yes? I didn't say that. Or no? Well, well I'm not, I'm not okay. endorsing anybody. <laughs> Okay. Well, you know, you, you've often said you'd like to hear, you know, what the tax rate is that should be for rich people. No, well, I, I asked what like the fair hear, share is. Yes, How much okay. should they pay? I, I, would like, I would like to hear a Republican say how much they're going to cut benefits for Social Security. Uh, give me a number. Don't, don't just talk in generalities. If you want to balance the <laughs> deficit, balance the budget. Give me a number. You're going to cut benefits by thirty percent, forty percent. You know, I would I would like to hear a policy. How about no percent? That. Well, I thought you wanted to cut the deficit. Well, but you're not you, going to cut you, the deficit by getting rid of the Department of Education. That's not going to balance the budget. No, very little is going to balance you're the you're budget. Talking, very little is going to balance major the budget. Cuts. Well, you want you're talking major cuts if you want to balance the budget. Right, the fine. Military, if you the want us to keep security. going farther and farther in debt, so that money has to be wasted on interest rates rather than on things the American people need, that's fine. Right now, no, the interest on the debt is that. over a trillion mm -hmm. dollars. That money could be used elsewhere, couldn't it? All right, tell me where you want to cut. I'm I'm listening. I I'm think ready. I, I'm across the board. <laughs> <laughs> I well, think government needs to be smaller. It's not funny. I think government well, needs to be smaller. FEMA? Art, should we cut FEMA? They already right did. Now? FEMA's already out of money, aren't should we they? Cut it more? How do you should cut it cut more it when more they don't have how do you cut plans? it more when they don't have any money? I don't know, but you just said cut across the board. So well, should we across cut the their board budget? is across the board means everybody suffers. Well, that would be FEMA then. Well, I guess according to your plan. I guess. Okay. But they're already out of money, okay. and they had, they, they're already out of money, and nobody's cut them because they took money from FEMA to use it elsewhere. No, I don't think. Oh, so. they did, where and did a you lot hear of that. that a, where, it's been in the news. A lot of the money that came out of FEMA has been going to illegal immigrants that support them. No. Well, Art, okay, Art, you go on. look it up. You go look don't, it up. Don't spread rumors, Art. Go look Come it on. up. You're better than that. Go look it up. Okay. Or All you right. look up. Or you look up a great day of <laughs> violence that Trump said. You will you uh, look that up? Come on. Don't spread rumors either. Will you look it up, Art? Don't will spread rumors. A great yeah. day of violence. Sure. Don't spread we'll rumors. Compare notes next week. All right, we'll Carl. Compare notes next week. All right. Okay. Talk to you. Bye bye. All right. Uh, we uh, we'll take a break. Come back. We'll get to Gene and get to Gary when we return. I have with me Jeff Carrick from MQ Arms, located between Frankenmuth and Bridgeport, just off of Junction Road on Weiss Road. All you got to do is take a look at the big sign, and you know exactly where we are on Junction. The Weiss Farms, that is the place where the Frankenmuth corn maze is located, located right across the road from the farmstead. This is weekend number two coming up. They're open on weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for a very good reason, because a lot of folks like to come here on weekends, and they have the opportunity to give everybody undivided attention. We're uh, waiting for a couple of school groups that are going to be coming by. That's uh, usually Fridays is when they like to do that. But if you do have a school group that would like to come out to the corn maze, all you got to do is give Weiss Farms a call. They're open Friday from 7 until 10, Saturday noon to 10, and Sunday noon to 7. And as we said, other days by appointment. Frankenmuth Corn Maze. Just go online and check them out and see everything that's going on. Our reports this morning brought to you by the folks at Lingle Equipment, your one-stop Kubota shop. 
We'll be back with more. All right, we're back. And we go back to the phones. Gene is in Bay City. Good morning, Gene. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, I'm going to talk about health. Okay. Okay. Um, men have a lot of health problems, personal health problems, like prostate problems. And they are very thankful to have good doctors to help them. Now, women have a lot of personal health problems that they don't talk about, like having extreme pain every month or becoming anemic from blood loss. But they have the same good doctors that men have. Yes, they do. Now... If a young couple gets married and they decide to start a family and the wife is pregnant and she starts having some problems where she's bleeding a little bit or something and goes to her doctor, her doctor might put her in the hospital or he might send her home on bed rest or something. Well, if that woman has a miscarriage during the night, there is no way to tell a miscarriage from an abortion. Oh, no, no. There is, because a miscarriage is natural. Yes. But doctors, if they start... Uh, arresting doctors because of abortion, which in certain ways I agree with that. But on the other hand, there are going to be a lot of gynecologists because of fear of maybe someday having to hire a lawyer and all that. There's going to be a lot of gynecologists that are going to switch they're going to go into elder care or they're going to go into pediatrics or something else. And I'm afraid we're going to lose a lot of good doctors. And people, people, men especially, need to realize how important it is for women to have a good gynecologist. You know, the women have cervical cancer and uterine Nobody's cancer. Nobody's taking and, that away from them, and I don't think gynecologists are going to in mass exit the profession. There may be, and I will grant you, there may be one or two states, maybe, that are going to hold doctors accountable, but even that's waning. I don't see any well, mass I, exit of gynecologists. Let, let's I, look I, at this. Let's look at this. Was there a mass exit when doctors were sued for malpractice uh, because of a birth defect, for example? There was. To a degree, there were doctors who switched. But we still have a large cadre of doctors who deliver babies and who do gynecology and do all of that. I just don't see that big mass exit. I mean, that to me is... As I said before, I really think you underestimate Trump. Well, now we're back to Trump. If he becomes president and becomes a dictator and passes a lot of laws, I I disagree. I think there's going to be a lot of doctors that are going to think twice about taking care of women in well, child Okay, care we'll age. agree to disagree there, but I want to point something out. Trump can't pass a lot of laws. Congress passes the laws. But what's the, the, the Supreme Court made the president above the law. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They simply said that a president can't be held criminally liable for actions that happen in his pursuit of legal presidential duties. Outside of that, he can be held accountable. And he cannot pass laws. He cannot simply pass laws. Congress passes laws. Congress makes the laws. 
Well, I, listen, the, it's okay. Original, not, don't don't misunderstand me. It's okay not to like Trump. I don't have a problem with that. But let's not exaggerate either side. Well, I, I, as I said, I, I, re- I don't think people really believe what Trump says when he talks. Well, I think half the people and, and do because really, if you look at the country, really we're split. split. Half the country do. Well, I know you don't like celebrities, as you were just talking. To. I didn't say I don't like celebrities. I just well, don't take their endorsement as meaning anything. Well, anyway, I'm going to tell you about Oprah Real quick. Winfrey's show. Uh, when she was on there a week or two ago, there was a woman in, in the audience there whose daughter had an abortion. Yeah. Did you watch that? Nope, but I have a question oh. for you. Was the woman planted there on purpose to tell that story? Yes. Okay. Here's um, the thing. Well, like, can I please finish? Real, real quick. Um, anyway, because her daughter had an abortion, and it was she got a bad infen- uh, infection, had a high fever, and this was in a southern state. So what? All her right, mother, where are we going with her it? Her mother and sister took her to a hospital. The hospital waited and waited because of the fear of of being accused of doing the abortion, they waited and waited. the The woman got septic okay. and died. All right. Now, I agree, abortion is wrong, but being afraid to treat a woman until she dies—that is also. I wrong. would agree with you. I would agree, and as I said earlier, there are probably one or two states where that's happening. And they probably will need to fix that in the future. So but, listen, as I said, all right, I've I've got to go, Gene. I you underestimate Trump, but well, God bless and you, you anyway. And uh, thank and, you for your program. And I think you overestimate his abilities. So we'll we'll leave it there. Thank uh, you. All right, Gene. Take care. Bye bye now. And let's go to Carol and talk to Bill. Morning, Bill. Good morning, Art. Uh, you know, I I get a feeling that. Uh, I'm almost over-educated with what's wrong and what's right with these politicians <clears throat> by listening to your show. I say that tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, supposedly, we have a housing shortage. Is that correct? Affordable housing shortage, you bet. Affordable housing shortage. Maybe we should rethink how much room we have to have in order to call it a house. Well, there's this big movement for little houses. Have you seen that? I've I've heard about it over the years, and, and uh, I've seen people living in these little, like, cabins. Yeah, they're almost like uh, shipping containers that are converted into houses. Well, these are log deals. They, they, most of them are made up north, I guess. But uh, they're really reasonable, and, you know, if you had to have more room, you could probably put two of them together. There's just other ways that we could think of what we need for a house, I think, anyway. I've, I've always, just about all my life, I've lived in a mobile home, and uh, I like it. Yeah, it's well. Easy, it's easy to take care of, and it's... Uh, it's, uh, you know, you have to uh, apologize to some people because... I wouldn't you know, apologize. Well, maybe you wouldn't. But you're driving into Cadillac Escalade. No, I'm not driving. Well, that's not mine, though. <laughs> but here's the thing, Bill. Here's the thing. The beauty of this country is we can all choose to live in whatever size home we want as long as we can afford it. That's the beauty of this place, isn't it? You can afford last, if you if you choose to live. Uh, your last sentence there tells it all. As long as we can afford it. Well, of course, obviously, there's a lot of people today living in houses that they really can't afford because Dad, they're sacrificing other things to, yep, to live in. It. We used to call that. We used to call that uh, land land rich and cash poor. <laughs> there you go. 
I, there's a well, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, I, right. I, I think I think I've something to think about. Anyway, you know, I appreciate like, it. Yep. All right. Have a good one. You too, Bill. Thanks. Take care. Bye bye. Now we'll be back. Uh, Katie and Rachel, hang on. Soaring Eagle Casino. Hi, right, we're back with you here on the Art Lewis Show. We'll get back to our phones now. We're going to head to Auburn and talk to Katie this morning. Good morning, Katie. Hi, how are you doing, Art? Doing well. All right, Art. I got a couple things to say. Uh, if you would be so kind to give me a few minutes. Uh, first of all, Carl. On Facebook, Mayorkas warns that FEMA lacks funding for hurricane cleanup after agency spent over a billion on illegal aliens. That's a fact. And the fact is I'm voting for my kids and their kids' future. I'm an old gal, and I pray they get to enjoy the same freedoms I've had. Amen. And I want to thank you, Art. Uh, Art I'm sorry, because I've I, I been writing like crazy, because I want to say all of the things I want to say. Uh, and thanks, Art, about the celebrity comment. Uh, last VP debate, uh, Walt said that they were endorsed by Swift. Her songs are about picking the wrong guy. He said, Cheney, Cheney's a warmonger, and Bernie, Bernie's a socialist communist, so I don't think that's a good track record. <laughs> and Carl also mentioned Oprah. During the Maui fire, she had the balls to get on TV and request money for support while she's sitting there as a billionaire. And then the Heritage Foundation created the Project 2025, which Trump has nothing to do with, and they just endorsed Harris. So, yeah, there's no agenda there either. And uh, in 1983, I became a United States citizen. I took the oath to become a citizen after seven years as a resident alien. I got sworn in in my dress blues in the Marine Corps. Well, and thank you was, for your uh, service. Was, and and this, is, this is the best country in the world. This is the best country in the world. And the facts are that uh, Carl and Jean hate Trump. If he showed up at their front door with free mortgage and everything else, um, they would still hate him. And I would suggest that they get off CNN and uh, try to see what the facts are. Um, but, yeah, I, all I have to say is I feel in my heart, I love this country. I love it with all my heart. I say vote red or this country is dead. All um, right. Just my feeling. But. Thanks, Art, for letting me get this off my chest. Glad you called, and thank you for your service. You're welcome. Have a good day, Art. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye. And next up, we go to Bay City. Talk to Rachel this morning. Rachel, good morning. Hi, Art. Good morning. And, Katie, thank you so much for calling. You you said that fantastic. needed to be said. You did it succinctly, and I don't understand either how those two don't get it. I, I really don't. Also... I wanted to counter one more thing that Jean said. She talked about the gal whose daughter passed after complications right. of an unwanted pregnancy. There's two women. I don't know their names. I should have looked it up while I was on, you were on the commercial, but I didn't. Um, there's been two women's names that they're using. The mainstream media left for terror and fear and bizarre panic over abortion, 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 um, that they're, they're misleading everyone. What happened was these two different women, completely unrelated, nothing to do with, you know, whatever, they're saying it has, this is all in, in regards to the Georgia abortion ban. There, well, first of all, there's no Georgia abortion ban. Um, but what happened was these two women, they sought a... I don't know what the drug is called, but it's the, it's an abortion pill. Yeah. You get the pill, you take the pill, it kills the baby. Then you're supposed to ultimately expel all of the body parts. Well, um, both of them ordered these drugs from a, another country mm -hmm. and took the abortion pill. Uh, that all happened. But they did not ultimately expel all of the body parts of the child, and they did not seek medical attention until an urgent, dire, I am dying scenario. 
and they didn't get medical attention fast enough. It was a sepsis. It was a, they, they had a dead baby inside of them. Yep. And they knew that and they knew they weren't well and they did not go get medical attention for it until they showed up at the ER dying. And unfortunately that did happen that these two women did not survive, but I mean, <laughs> okay. I, I get shot in the stomach or anywhere and I live that way for several weeks until, you know, my, my guts that are hanging out are necrosis, necrotic, whatever. And then I show up at the doctor and unfortunately I die over this. It, it is not in regards to abortion. It is not in regards to Georgia having an abortion ban. It is not in regards to, uh, it's just, see, this is what happens. This is what they do. It's the waiting. They lie, 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 lie their faces off. And then people who get a headline or a blip or do not read a story, they hear this and they're like, oh, my God, yeah. Donald Trump wants to have an abortion ban. He's going to be an abortion ban well, for your world. There's a, lot, die. there's a lot it's of that crazy. in all topics. There's a lot of that in all topics. Oh, yeah. We're headline yeah, readers. You know, we're headline uh-huh. readers and that's it. So. Yeah, and I'm glad Katie said that to, to Carl yeah. regarding the Mayorkas spending him him literally that man is a demon and he has raided looted fema american federal emergency management agency money to spend it on illegal aliens yeah that's All what right. he did and carl doesn't know that okay appreciate thanks, the call rachel thanks yep bye-bye, bye-bye now Take a break. Be back. We'll hear from Terry Henney, and then we'll get back to phones. And we've got uh, several waiting, so hang in there, and we'll get to you. Next week, I turn to... ...this morning from the site of the Frankenmuth corn maze located on Weiss Farms. It's a gigantic corn maze with three fun mazes all rolled up into one. There's lots of family fun things to do in the maze courtyard as well. Courtyard games to play, farm animals petting zoo, hay rides to the dairy farm and back. Obviously, it's a lot of fun for not only the adults, but the kids. They're open on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. This is the second weekend of them being open for the season. And they'll be open until October the 27th. Fridays from 7 to 10 in the evening, Saturdays noon to 10, and Sundays noon to 7. If you'd like to bring a group out uh, to tour the corn maze and have a little bit of fun, that's what we're going to be watching for. Within the next few minutes, a couple of school buses are going to be arriving. Uh, You can get a hold of the folks at Weiss Farms, Frankenmuth Corn Maze. Just go online, frankenmuthcornmaze.com, and uh, reserve uh, some time for your school group or organization to come on out to the maze. A lot more reports coming up next hour. Our reports brought to you by the folks at Lingle Equipment, your one-stop Kubota shop, and Rummel Insurance. This is... All right, we're back with you here on WSGW, and uh, let's get back to our phones. Errol is with us in Saginaw. Good morning, Errol. Good morning. Hey, Carl, take, take it easy. You're a candidate for a stroke. Yeah. That, in that case, most of America is this election year. <laughs> Not me. I'd put here just to add to take people. Hey, I, I got questions. The gentleman you had on yesterday, the politician, did I make a mistake? Is he the one that's op- opposed to women's having uh, medical procedures done under any cost? Uh, I, you know, we didn't get to that, but I don't think. I think his I name think was he, Rogers. Yeah, Mike Rogers was the was the candidate. Yeah, but I I I don't believe, and I didn't ask him, but I, I seem to remember in the past he's not anti-life of the mother and, and that kind of thing. But he is okay. he is pro-life, no doubt about it. Right, but and the reason I'm asking the question is because someone I know raised the question with me, and I'm going to ask him, unless he can have a baby, keep his nose out of women's health care, period. Unless men start having babies, keep your mouth shut. Last, I knew, it t- last I knew it took a man to have a baby, so what's his responsibility? 
Which one was that? I haven't met him. Any man. Any man. No, no, no. It takes no, a man no, to have no. a baby, you, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. They they provide oh. the uh, seed, but they don't have a baby. Well, but they can't do it them. without the man. So what's the man's interest in that child? Keep his nose out of it. It's a women's problem that care. She's got so a should it be so? Treated. So let me ask you this then: Should it be used as contraception? No, absolutely not. Okay, and all right. I've always been against that. All right, then, then we're good. Then you and I agree. Oh, that's scary as hell. Well, but just a minute and now. Doesn't that do, do, doesn't that put our nose in it? No, not I'm sure it does. Friends. Well, no, no, no. But, but we're, know, if, if you're going to dictate to a woman that she can't use it as contraception, we're putting our nose in it, aren't we? Then don't then do something. <laughs> that, that, that's up to her. But all these new, all these famous people that are singers and dancers yeah. and whatever else, I could care less about Me what too. the hell got to say. Their opinion is uh, no more important than yours or mine or anybody else's. Well, that's true. They just have a bigger oh, platform, it. unfortunately. Well, that's true. Oh, I've had all a wonderful right. morning, Mark. Right. Thank yeah. you, sir. Talk Bye. to you. Bye-bye. Mike's in Thomas Township. Mike, go ahead. Hey, good morning, Art. Um, you know, they, that problem down south, you know, with the hurricane people and not getting help, I don't see why the pre and the president hasn't furnished them anything. He's gone down and looked at things, gone back, probably his beach, laying on the beach. Anyway, um, he could call. We have a vast amount of helicopters in the military. Uh, Fort Bragg has a ton of them. Uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, where the 101st is, that's all uh, airborne, you know, troops. Uh, down in Texas, they have, uh, I forgot which outfit it is, but they have helicopters. They could bring in more helicopters than, than you could believe. But it, it, all it takes is the president to say, give an order, send them there. It does not require Congress or anybody because yeah. it's not war. And he will not do anything. And these are, this is, and him and Kamala Harris, people want to, you know, elect her. She's caused these problems, the border, the the vast amounts of uh, money that they've given away to people that, uh, you know, she's part of the regime. She keeps on bragging that she's always the last one in the room with the president. And if she is, why can't she do something now? Because she doesn't want to. And that's the same thing she's going to do when people elect her. All she's right. not going to do anything for then the people. Don't vote for her. Oh, you got that right. <laughs> All right. I hope a lot of other people don't, too. Good enough. Take care, my friend. Have Take a good care. weekend. You, too. Bye-bye. Hey, La last up is Marcellus in Saginaw. Marcellus, good morning. Good morning, Art. Um, I know election time is coming up. It's real close. Yeah. And as for, as for me, I, I you know, I'm pretty much sure about what, which way I'm going to go. Uh, but I'm going to vote. Uh, you you know I'm a minister, a pastor. Yep. But I, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm voting for choice, you know, and and that's my opinion. Just like if if people want to vote for Donald Trump, vote for Donald Trump. If you want to vote for Kamala Harris, vote for Don Kamala Harris. And I'm gonna say this real quick. I got a friend of mine in Alabama. We always fight every time election come up because, you know, he's Republican and I'm Democrat. But we don't <laughs> let that. We don't we we don't let that change who we are as friends. Good. We we don't that don't that don't interfere. So, however people choose to vote, vote the way you want to vote, but don't lose friendship with your friend if y'all vote. Uh, Marcellus, God bless you, man. Keep that going. God mm -hmm. bless you because yeah, I've preached that for years. You know, we've forgotten how to disagree and do. then go out and have lunch. It just is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, my friend he put a he put a cat on a grill and said grill cat and talking about what happened in in Ohio and I told him I was offended by that that I didn't think he should he apologized he called me he apologized yep. he said you know what Marcella I was just being funny he said but I understand where you coming from I apologize for you know for that and he took this thing down I think he had it on Facebook but he took it down. And that's what we got to understand. Mm -hmm. You vote for whoever you want to. Let's not fight each other because we oh, yeah. choose to vote for one way or the other. Isn't that Let's be friend. We speak of friend. Isn't that mm -hmm. what it means to be an American? Isn't that part of the that's privilege exactly of being an American? All right. Friend, I've that's got to go. I'm out of time, unfortunately. But I know it. I'm glad you said what you said. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thank you, Art. Take Have care. a great day. Bye-bye. We'll Bye -bye. be back to close out. Pioneer Brands.
And that does it for the Art Lewis Show for today. We'll see you Monday with lots more. Coming up on Focus, we're going to learn about the Saginaw Public Libraries and the Bookmobile. That's what's ahead. Broadcasting from the 